This one's gonna be on a music player called Mach, or they call it Music on Console. That's what it stands for. So to install it, it's just called Mach in your uh, package manager. But to start the program, it's actually called Mach P for player, and that's how you'll run the program here. Uh, the interface, pretty easy. You know, you have two panes. On your right side is your uh, playlist, and your right on uh, your left side here, this is your um, I guess your directory so you can just navigate to the folder that has your music in it so let's say for example this is the other folder here this is just a bunch of mp3s inside or awk files um, and if you want to load it you hit A and I'll load it to your playlist over here on uh, your right side so to toggle between them is just tab so you can tab between the two panes and once you're over here you hit enter and I'll start playing right um, so that's it for that other stuff you want to do in here well the interface pretty easy at the bottom here they have the, the track that you're playing uh, the time and the time that ends uh, what else is there so they have different modes like shuffle and repeat so to do that you hit uh, capital S so it's shift and S and you see it lits up uh, white now same thing with the repeat you hit uh, capital R and so on and so forth uh, if you want to toggle on and off if you want to what was that control the volume so it has PCM 100% here so if you want to lower it it's just um, what was that comma and period to go higher so comma and period that simple now if you want to know the other hotkeys you just hit uh, shift and question mark and these are the other hotkeys that you can do in here so you can go up and down to see more um, yeah basically all, you know all these stuff you can read up it's not that hard to understand now this part right here this is um, the M stands for meta aka your alt key so you do alt 1 2 3 4 5 and all that and this will set your volume to a certain percentage if you want to do it quicker uh, what else is there oh yeah the way that you quit this program because this one is actually different from a regular music player is that it has a server and a client so it breaks it down to a different thing uh, it's kind of weird that way but that's how they do it so the music will actually still run if you just detach from your server right so if you hit like lowercase q the music will still run uh, but if you hit capital case uh, q this will actually quit out the client and server so let me show you what I'm talking about here so we're playing a song here. So you're playing the song and you hit the uh, lowercase q. It'll just quit out of the interface. It actually, you know, the music is still going on. So if you want to quit out completely, you have to do shift and q. And that will quit out the server in the background and also the client. So that's just how it works. Not that difficult. Uh, if you want to add other folders in here, like this Super Double Dragon, you can hit A. And our game soundtrack. Um, what else is it here? All the rest of our uh, soundtrack. Now, let's hit tab over here to the playlist. Obviously, if you have too many, right, how are you going to search for the song? Uh, pretty simple. You hit, uh, what is that, forward slash? And then you just uh, type out the song that you want to search for. So let's say you search for that Rampage song again. Uh, and there you go. It filters it out. And you hit enter. And you play the song again. Not that hard. So hit P for pause. Or I think you can hit space too, right? Yeah, space for P uh, to pause it. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, there's one thing that I really like in here is that they have this theme menu. I use Seamus and Seamus doesn't have this. Well, they do, but you have to do it from like the command line kind of thing. And here they actually have a menu to do that. So you hit Shift and T or capital T. Uh, this is your themes because the default theme sucks on here. It's just a blue piece of shit. Uh, but you can change it to a black theme if you want. And here you go. This one doesn't look that great either, but you can just choose some other ones. I actually like this yellow red one because it looks nice on your eyes. Uh, especially if you know you're using the computer at night so that's what I probably prefer in here 
Um, now the thing is, if you, even if you change the themes in here, and you quit out of the, uh, or you detach from the the server, let's quit out of this here. What the hell is he doing? Quit. There you go. So if you detach from the server or whatever, and you start up mock P again, hold up, mock P, it'll go back to your default theme, and it's kind of annoying to do that. So if you want to load it up uh, with one command line in the beginning, all you gotta do is remember, um, you know, the theme name. So let's say we copy this one here. Uh, let's quit out of that again. So this time we type in mock P dash capital T, and then you just paste in the theme that you want to use. So this yellow red theme here, and there you go. That's how you would load it up uh, with your default themes of your choice. So that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to get your own themes or create your own, um, you, you can either create your own or go online and search for other themes if you want. Uh, those are the, some of the ones that I show you by default. But if you search on your search engine or whatever, I found this one. And all you gotta do is look at the code here. So this one's called Orpheus. Okay, we'll use that here. So we'll create a new one called Orpheus here. So all you gotta do is go into your mock um, dot mock and then theme folder. If you don't have this folder, just go ahead and create it. Not that hard. And I want to use I guess Nano to do this, all right? And we'll call it by his name here. And all I gotta do now is copy this whole code here with all the colors and everything and hit Control shift v and you paste it in there uh, and that's it now you gotta save it so you hit um, what's that Control o enter Control x and then you saved it now when you do um mock p right you hit uh, capital t here you can see that it has our uh, theme that we just uh, was that uh, created, and you can load it, and you can see it looks uh, was it? it has green and teal color. So pretty much you can do the same stuff if you do mock p dash t was that dash t, and what was it called? Orpheus or something like that. And there you go. That's your theme that we just uh, created or copied in off the internet. Um, pretty much it for the program. Not really that hard. If you want to clear out the list, you can do Shift and C, and you clear out the list. That'll be it for this one. Using Mach P or Music on Console should be in all your uh, Linux distribution because it's actually a very uh, popular and old program to listen to music. That'll be it for this one.